Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to present the core concepts behind SysKit, the ROG system management tool. This is not a tutorial, we have tutorials on the ROG website that I invite you to look into if you're interested. It's really meant to give you an idea of how you design and run a system when you use SysKit. First of all, SysKit is a model driven tool, so all the design you do in SysKit is done offline without actually running any components. Um, the core idea in SysKit is that you design a network of components that a human can grasp in first glance. So that's the thing that you manipulate. And so, for instance, here we have a Hokuyo acquisition chain, which is made of the Hokuyo driver, but also some hardware, timestamping hardware that we have in our robot, and an odometry with the IMU, the motor drivers, and some custom hardware as well, handling our. Um, and finally, just a simple control loop. Then what you do is you actually create a network of components where you specify some of these. So you have here a local nav navigation, so local obstacle avoidance, and a trajectory following component. But you also have placeholders. So you basically say, well, to run this local obstacle avoidance, I need these two components. And then I need something that gives me a leisure and finer. I need something that gives me a relative pose, and I need something that I can control using new motion 2D comma. And then for your particular system, you're going to tell SysKit, I want to run that using the other networks. Because you design these other networks separately, um, what happens is they have redundancies. So for instance, you find the motor drivers both in the odometry and in the control loop are you find this timestamping hardware that is custom in our system, both for the Hoku and the IMU. But you never really had to think about it when you had these separate subsystems, and you still haven't to think about it because SysKit is um, doing that for you. So it's actually finding out that there's commonalities and then um, merge them. And it can do that also at runtime. So it's basically able to um, let you specify that at a certain point in time you want a set of networks and at another point in time you want another set of networks. And it does the adaptation. But during that adaptation, it really finds the common path. So it will only stop and start the part of the network that change, but not the ones that are common. So this is all for today. Um, there will be other videos about this kit um, that's like more hands-on videos that will allow you to maybe grasp better um, how it works in practice. But I hope that you enjoyed that video and thank you for your attention.